Welcome back to Restore Thrive. Dr. Tim Cummings here. We are talking about shoulder mobility today. In this episode, what we're going to talk about is how do you improve shoulder internal range of motion. And when we say internal range of motion, what we mean is in standing, if I bring my elbows out to the side below my chest, can I keep my elbows bent and rotate my arms down, shoulder staying back, and get in that forearm basically into a vertical position. Now I'm a little tight on this side after years of being a baseball pitcher, so my internal rotation here is a little limited. Not only is this important as a thrower, but this is important if you're doing any sort of movement where your arm gets behind your body. So rowing, running, reaching behind your back, putting your arms back to get into a reverse plank position. There's all sorts of positions that require good internal rotation of the shoulder. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go after this area below our shoulder blade in our lower rib cage. This area we see often gets overlooked. We get very focused on the shoulder, but forget we're a system of systems. And if this lower rib cage doesn't move, it makes it difficult to get my shoulder blade positioned properly and to let my shoulder move through that normal range of motion. So the way we'll go about this, I'm going to Think about the area right below that bottom angle of my shoulder blade. The ball is going to go in there, off my spine, kind of sitting in my ribs. And what I'm going to do is lean over a little bit and slide my hand behind my back. And then I'm just going to rock myself back to the side here. And all I'm going to do is take a big breath in, exhale, and I can rock towards that arm. Or I can rock away from that arm. When I go away, I'm taking a little pressure off. When I go towards, I'm adding a little pressure in. And I'm just going to move back and forth until I notice that that starts to feel better. So as we go here, not only can I keep my arm here, I can slide my hand out, slide it back in, try to reach a little bit farther over, and do that same movement back and forth. I can move up a little bit, again, staying below my shoulder blade, and I can rock my upper body back and forth. I can bring that arm out. I can reach back in. I can roll over. If that feels tight, I can do what we call a contract, relax. Take a breath in. Exhale. And I should be able to get to the bottom of the ball there where it's got, I've got my full weight and full pressure over the ball. And that's not making me freak out. I'm not holding my breath. I'm not clenching my jaw. I'm not closing my eyes. So I'll take one more breath in. Exhale. And then roll over to get that ball out. And then if I stand back up, what I should feel when I get my arms in this position again and bring that arm back, now that feels like I've got a noticeable difference right versus left. I can get that shoulder blade back. I can bring my arm back farther behind my body. And now I need to do the same thing on my right. So take your time with this one. Spend about two to three minutes on each side. Let us know what you think. We'll talk to you again soon.